Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to do it a little bit different this time. We're going to do you and the other person, you and somebody that is very predominantly in your energy. It may not be who you think it is, but it's somebody that is in your energy in a very big way. Um, this is for the week of February 15th through the 21st, so we're going to see what comes up. Keep in mind, not every reading is for you. So what do we have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Wands reversed. Two of swords. We got two twos. Twos are about faith and trust. They're about partnerships, unions. Uh, taking the next step, you've been stuck. You've been as in a situation where there's been some sort of stagnation, indecisiveness, fear of the unknown. Uh, definitely fear of the unknown. This is uh, a lot of fear. It is a lot of fear. There could be a sudden change here, a sudden departure, a sudden arrival. There could be a, definitely a sudden change. Somebody has been uh, stuck. They've been, uh, it's like a path has been blocked. Um, fear of the unknown. This is a painful, stressful decision that is being made this week. Um, there's been some sort of uh, fear. Somebody has been held back by fear. But I think that there's going to be a change. Twos are about changes. Something to do with a partnership. And it doesn't have to be a love relationship. There's something to do with a partnership here. Where I believe there's going to be a sudden change. Or a decision. It could be a decision. It doesn't have to be a change. It can be a decision. Because twos are about decisions and choices. There's been some sort of denial. There's, there even could be some lies. Okay. Um... Torn. We have some somebody here that has been torn in two different directions. This is going to be a week of change and decision. Okay, so what do we have for the other person, whoever it is that you're dealing with? What do we have for the other person? Somebody that is very predominant in Sagittarius's energy. King of Cups, could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, doesn't have to be. This is somebody that uh, acts on their emotions. Queen of Swords, could be dealing with two people. You may have two people here that are working together. Maybe, maybe this person is working to bring you down, but I don't think this is you. I think it's another person. Could be one person that is taking on both these energies, but I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is very manipulative, very uh, forceful. This person is playing on another person's emotions. This is somebody that um, is angry and upset. They're acting on their emotions, acting out of anger. So there is somebody here that is acting. They're jealous. They're manipulative. We definitely have some manipulation here. Now, it could be de dealing with a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius like yourself, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or even two people. And I do feel like it is two people because we have two twos. Of, I think you're dealing with two people. Yeah. And I feel like you have a master manipulator here that is trying to manipulate somebody, trying to manipulate the other person into uh, doing something for them, which is interesting. This person may love this person, you know, but this person is doing it out of a vindictive manner. This is somebody that is uh, very controlling, that uh, has a self-image problem, that is looking for uh, some sort of gratification, extremely uh, depressed, worried, anxious. There's depression here. You ha maybe have somebody here that is mentally ill or they're sick. Um, this is a poor health. We may have somebody here that has some poor health. You're dealing with somebody that is um, trying to control a situation. Two of Wands. Block. Block somebody. Somebody's trying to block. And that's your blockage. You see the blockage? So you've got, you've got somebody that is working against you that is trying to block you. 
It feels like they're trying to block you. They're trying to cause anxiety. They're trying to cause stress. They're trying to make you fearful. They're trying to instill fear. Somebody's causing you stress. They're doing it on purpose. And they're using another person. It's almost like, like they're using this person as their pawn. And whoever it is that they're using is emotionally invested in them. So that's interesting. Ooh, life challenges. We have somebody here that wants to win. This is somebody that is really facing some life challenges right now. They are wanting to fight for something. This is somebody that is very angry and upset. They are exhausted. They are fed up. They're tired. They are emotional. They're acting out of emotions. They are... Uh, unsure there's they're trying to block something somebody is trying to block you and it's because they're facing life challenges you know they're miserable misery misery loves company this is somebody that is extremely depressed they are they're depressed they they've got they've got issues health issues and it's like they're trying to prove something i don't know why Oh, five of wands, and this is like a battle, a serious battle. We got somebody here that is highly competitive. This is somebody who thrives on competition. So you got somebody here that is playing. This is somebody that is playing with you. They want to keep you on your toes. So you got somebody here that wants to keep you on your toes. They just want to fight. This is somebody who likes to fight. This person isn't a happy camper. They're not a happy person. You're dealing with somebody that is having some relation pro relationship problems of their own right now. They're not happy. They're not emotionally fulfilled. And they, they misery loves company. Misery loves company. So you are dealing with somebody that is... Um, going through some sort of relationship problems of their own and they, they they just it almost feels like they because they're experiencing challenges they're picking fights you know they're wanting to pick fights and they're using another person as their pawn which is pretty sad anyhow let's get one i'll go back to you in a minute um i was going to get two of these for each of you i was only going to get one but i guess it's going to be two what about the other person This is a liar. You're dealing with a liar. You've got somebody here that lies. And they think that they are so strong. It almost feels like they think that they're going to win. But I, don't, I think it's a loss. This person is sick. Anyhow. Um, So for you, on your side, we have good news. Good news is going to be arriving for you. Take care. Enemies are working against you, which I could see very clearly. You absolutely have somebody that is working against you. There is no doubt about it. I feel like it's a fire sign, maybe a water sign. Somebody that has water in their chart or a lot of fire. It's two people. It is two people. Ah, see, this person is, you, you saw where they are, whoever this person is that is so jealous and trying to force something, they are, they are, they are hurting, they are hurting, and I knew they were, they're acting on their emotions, they're angry, they're hurting, you're dealing with somebody who is miserable, and they are hurting, and they want to project that onto you, feeling tied down or frustrated, so you, whoever you're dealing with is extremely frustrated, they are hurting, they're, they're hurting over a broken relationship and therefore they want to, they, they don't want to see you happy. So they want to, or whoever your, your happiness, they want to affect your happiness. I do believe that uh, they are trying to block your happiness. It's like a negative, dark energy. This is somebody that is not very awakened. You know, the, it's not, this is somebody that, um, is very very depressed you know and it's like a dark energy trying to steal the light 
you know that's exactly what it is it's like a psychic vampire energy that just wants to fight it just wants to compete because that's what they feed off of they feed off of strife i think i feel like this person is trying to cause strife they're trying to cause tension and they and it feels like whoever you're dealing with is working with another person to block you they're trying to block your happiness um anyhow so you're dealing with somebody that is is hurting and they're trying to block you and it's because of their feelings it's because they've been in a relationship you know and that's the way it goes it's like they, they can't they can't they haven't healed they haven't healed from a, a previous battle that they have been in but anyway let's go back to you now, Four of Pentacles reverse is letting go of something. It's time to relax. You can breathe. You don't. You can breathe now. You can breathe, whatever that means. Good news is coming your way. Yes, you have somebody working against you, but I don't think, and they're trying to block you. They're trying to keep you fearful. They're trying to make you scared because these are both fears. You've got somebody here that is trying to instill fear in you. They're trying to scare you. And I feel like you've probably been wanting to hide from them, or you've been feeling fearful. Um, but you're gonna get, you're gonna be having some sort of support. You're gonna be getting some some sort some sort of support. We have happiness here. We have a partnership. We have a union. We have love. I feel like you are going to be opening up to somebody or somebody's going to be opening up to you. Now we got another two. We got three twos, two, two, two. Have faith and trust. You are on the right path. Your life is changing, but you do have a partner here and, and it could be anybody. It could be a friend, could be a lover, could be, could be a best friend, could be a child. Could be, you do have a partner here that you are compatible with that you are uh, going to be going down a new path with, okay? So you are going to be able to relax. This person may have stressed you out. They have may, caught, may have caused you some extreme worry or some extreme anxiety, but it's, it, it, things are going to get better for you. Things are going to get better. You're not going to have to hide. You're not going to have to be stuck. You're not going to... Fear is... You're, the fear is going to dissipate. This person um, that you're dealing with is up against you or... or uh, and, and I put... The Queen of Swords is somebody that is very authentic, up against the truth, up against the facts. Now, the Queen of Swords is the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. The truth is truth. The truth comes out. The truth, the truth prevails. Okay, so the, the truth is on your side. The facts are on your side. There's some sort of protection that is on your side, or there's professional on your side. There is something that you have or somebody that is on your side that is going to protect you, and it has to do with truth. The truth will come out. The truth will protect you. You are dealing with somebody that is lying about something they are lying about something this person is um growing weary though they are growing weary they the battle is going to end soon i feel like this person is is there you know it's kind of like that that thing that i talk about what you put out there comes back to you whoever this person is that you are dealing with that is trying to uh block you from happiness they're the ones that is going to be blocked from happiness. They're the ones that is going to hit their knees. This is the one that is going to be facing the tension and the battle. So whoever this person is that is trying to control your happiness, that is trying to force something that is lying and manipulating and, you know, acting stupidly, this person is going to be the one that um, gets blocked. This is the one that's going to get blocked. This is the one that is going to be feeling extremely regretful for their actions. Okay? They're going to be. Okay? This person is starting to get frustrated, whoever you're dealing with. They they already are frustrated. This all started from them. It all started from their... Um, self-image you know they have a poor self-image problem so they feel the need to bring others down to bring themselves up anyway this person is going to continue to be blocked they're going to continue to be blocked and they're going to continue to have challenges and they're going to continue to struggle until they change their mindset until they stop fighting. Somebody needs to stop fighting, stop competing. It's not about competition. It's about love. So whoever this person is needs to learn that lesson. So anyway, 
over here, I do believe that you are protected. I feel like you are protected. I feel like you have an opportunity for love here with somebody that is truthful, with somebody that is honest, with somebody that has integrity. I feel like you, um, some sort of information is going to come out that uh, allows you to release some sort of fear you know your fear you, you, you're going to be able to release this fear of whoever this person is that it wants to fight with you if this person is a liar whoever you're dealing with is a liar and it's going to be seen very 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 clearly there it feels like there's a professional here you know because the queen of swords is somebody that is in a professional position that is very very good at speaking very very good at doing what they do um Oh, goodness. Lovers reverse. Now, the lovers reverse is a separation. There could be a separation. There could be a severing of ties. Okay, there could be. And maybe it's from this person right here. This, the lovers card is um, consequences. Somebody may be getting some consequences for... Um, trying to block something lying something because we have lies this is lies and this is lies too so there's some sort of lies here the lovers reversed is a separation it's not compatible there's going to be a separation from somebody that you are not compatible with it, there's going to be some sort of clarity you may be making a decision or somebody else is making a decision to separate somebody from and, and unite them with somebody that is compatible because this is not compatible, this is compatible. So there's there's definitely a choice here. Choice, 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 choice. So the big choice this week. Big, big, and it's gonna affect your life. So there is going to be a big decision that is made this week that affects your life and allows you to release something that you have, or somebody that has been holding on to you or you've been holding on to them with the Four of Pentacles. Usually the Four of Pentacles is holding on for dear life. Four of Pentacles reverse is letting go. And it's letting go of a partnership that is not compatible, where there's no growth, where there's no compatibility. The decision is definitely going to be made this week to go down a new path. I, because the two of wands is about going down a new path and it feels like whoever you've been up against somebody that's been trying to block you from going to see the blockage right here they've been trying to block you from going down that path and they've been causing a lot of tension they have this person is extremely i feel like ill with the nine of swords reversed next to the queen of wands reversed and they can't master their emotions they're totally acting out of anger because of a relationship that hasn't worked out so anyway i feel like this week there is enemies working against you but you are protected and there is good news that is coming in your favor Whoever this person is, they are not going to get what they... They're not going to win this battle. They're not. Um, let's get one more card for them. Ace of Wands. Now, Ace of Wands is a clean slate. Starting with a clean slate. A fresh new start. Um, new vision this person's going to get a new vision they're going to be awakened they're going to get a this is an enlightenment of some sort so whoever this person is this is they're going to be getting some sort of new vision they may be uh you know the ace of wands is a very fertile time to start with a clean slate Happiness, Ten of Cups. Whoever this person is that has been trying to block you is going to get some sort of new desire or a new vision about happiness, about love, about family. We do have a new relationship here. This is a new, a new partnership, a new exciting opportunity. So whoever this person is that is 
not in a good place is going to get a new opportunity for happiness. They are going to be starting with a clean slate and they are going to move into a happy situation. But it's after they stop fighting. So anyway, there is a separation. There is a separation that does lead to a union. It definitely leads to a union for you and this other person. This other person, both of you are going to be going in a new direction. Both of you. This battle is coming to an end. It is. This is a sudden desire. So this person, whoever this person is that is so angry and upset, I feel like they are going to get a sudden desire or a sudden vision to go down a new path themselves when they get whatever this I don't know truth is because there is some sort of truth whoever this person is over here they have a new partner they have a new sexual partner that they are getting into a relationship with. And that's going to allow you to let them go. Anyway, you're going to be letting something go. One more card for you. Separation from somebody that you're not compatible with. Oh, there it goes. Oh, look at that. Devil. Now, the devil is unhealthy, toxic situation. Separating. You're separating from an unhealthy, toxic situation that isn't meant to be. You have been bound to this situation. You have been controlled by this energy. There's been a lot of manipulation but I do, this is the sword that cuts, the sword that severs the ties. So there is, I feel like there's going to be a severing of ties this week. Some of you are going to be getting a new opportunity. You're going to be for love. Absolutely. Absolutely. You're gonna be. You're gonna have. A, you're gonna get a strong attraction to somebody new. Definitely. You you may not want it. You may not be looking for it. But here it is. There's a strong sexual attraction here between you and another person. You you want to be careful. You want to be careful with who you engage with. Okay. Be very 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 careful because it could just be, and maybe it's this person. It could just be sex. I don't know. Either way, there is some sort of truth that comes out that I mean, it may have to do with a sexual manner. We could have somebody here that is jealous, you know, that they didn't get the attention that they want and they, you know, throw a hissy fit. There's definitely, definitely somebody could throw a hissy fit and cause a big fight. There definitely could be a big fight here. You know, and the truth comes out and it causes an uproar. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. Anyhow, I do believe there is going to be an uproar. And I do believe that there's a new relationship here that comes after a battle. It comes after a fight where two people are coming together after a separation. 
And whoever they are separating with is going with somebody else as well. Good luck.